My name is Tom Oldham. I'm a London-based portrait photographer. In 2009, I was lucky enough to go to Lesotho, which is a landlocked country within South Africa, to document the work of an NGO called Riders for Health. It's always a fantastic assignment shooting for them, but something I've really noticed when I was there was the incredible herder boys that we would see, these really powerful symbolic figures of Lesotho wrapped in their blankets on the mountainsides. And I knew I had to return. I picked up my house of blood and went back. And I just knew from the very first shoot that we were capturing something really, really special that deserved to live beyond Instagram or an online experience that it should be printed and framed and hung in an exhibition dedicated purely to this work we were recording. I think it's really key elements of the process that you work with somebody who really knows what they're doing in terms of taking these beautiful Hasselblad files and then pushing them on quality wise to getting them on the wall and you can't really knock the reputation and experience of Metro Imaging. We've adjusted them to try and bring out as much information as possible. These are just the initial tests, so this is for you to put your input in, comment on whether you want any adjustments made, what are your initial thoughts on, on what's been produced. They see the process all the way through from testing to printing and then onwards into framing and finishing. It's quite nerve wracking when you see them like this. <laughs> I'm definitely at that sort of, oh my God, what am I doing? Right, stage, stage, stage of events. Well, it's just like the final piece of the jigsaw, really. Frame just finishes it off, complements it. And what we specialise in, I think, especially when we can deal with artists directly, is that we can try and find something that works perfectly with the, with the images. This particular style of framing is called tray framing, and it's fairly self-explanatory in a way. The pictures sit inside the tray with a space around the edge so that you can see the whole image. We're using a nice wood, which is called tulip, which it's, it's quite nice on its own, but it's great stained, it's great painted, it works well with both. The photography itself lends itself to this rich, woody looking frame. It literally could not be any more uh, done to order, as it were. And I always think that if I go along to a, a, an exhibition and, and it's got our name on it sort of thing, I really want to be 100% happy with it. You want to be proud of it? Yeah, absolutely yes. proud of it. Putting that final piece together and the artist kind of going, wow, that, that's what makes my job satisfying because you know, you're brilliant at what you do and we're just here to try and set it off. So, see Collaboration, everything should always be a collaboration. That's the important thing. <laughs> yes. Wow, I love it, it's absolutely perfect. I, I had to lie down in quite a lot of poo to take that photo. So, <laughs> it's really great to see some... Uh, and I was, I was joking when I saw that, I said, you should start Wales. <laughs> I think it's really easy in this day and age for projects just to exist online, really. The process as such is incredibly pleasurable, that it really feels like the purpose of these files is to blow them up as big as you can and really see and live the pictures in that format so much better than seeing it on a screen. The format of showing the prints is to just slow everything down a bit. Coming to a gallery space within a beautiful print that's been handcrafted and then lit and hung on a wall just invites the viewer, I think, just to consider it a little bit more. Looking good on screen is one thing, but looking good 40 inches across is another. Was it worth it? Was it worth it? Yeah, it was worth it, I think. It's incredibly demanding, you know, all the way from the shoot to the expenditure to the relationships that you have to rely on, the phone calls, emails, teas, coffees, lunches, the self-analysis, the doubt, all the different elements we have to play with in order to get something like this on the road. If the answer after that is, yes, it was worth it, then it must have been really good. And maybe I've got 10 more Instagram followers. Yeah.